Hello, sweet sparrows. Are you feeling a bit winterized like me? Hands all chapped and your lips are all chapped and your cheeks are all kissed from the frosty snow. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to come and put on all the colors and think about all the brightly colored food that we're so lucky to be able to eat and talk about our chakra points. Our chakra points are energies all the way up and down the middle of our body that help us feel calm every day if we know which chakra points are where and what they're best to help us with. So before we do that, let's have some friendship thimble tea. Here are my thimbles. They were in the forest with me yesterday while I was enjoying the bird song and drinking friendship thimble tea thinking of you. Let's put in this friendship thimble tea mm, the swish of making snow angels in the snow, the swirl of the sparkles when the sun catches the snowflakes and it looks like diamonds are flying through the sky with the birds. What else? Have you heard of frozen river? The river when it's frozen, which it is right now, sounds like creaking floorboards. So let's put the sound of a frozen river inside our friendship thimble tea and swirl it all around with some winter sun and bright, 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 bright blue sky like it was today. Cheers. Here's some friendship thimble tea for you. Oh, oh, thank you, frozen river. Oh, I can feel the creaking frozen floorboard river all the way down to my belly. Mmm, so good. And let's blow some love and hugs on the bird song and the feathers of all the birds around the world, from our hearts to your hearts, whomever needs extra love and hugs. We got it. Away it goes. So the chakra points, there's seven of them. And the first chakra point is the one we sit on. It's at the base of your spine, and it's called the root chakra. So if you're sitting comfortably like I am, I'm sort of sitting on my root chakra, and the color they, they, whoever they are, it's a very ancient tradition. Please do some research. The color that was given to the root chakra is red. Red, 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 red. Think of all the things you love to eat that might be red. Strawberries, red apple, ketchup, raspberries, cherries. I'm just trying to think, rhubarb. Oh, there's so many reds. Oh, and I've got some cherries here. So while you're sitting comfortably or standing, just imagine anything that you love to eat that's red. And just imagine the beautiful color of that right in your root chakra at the base of your spine. And then have these words connected with that point in your body, which is, I am. So the root chakra, I am, is all about grounding and balance and safety and knowing where you are. You, it could be connected to home or somewhere that feels like home to you. So those are all connected to your root chakra. And I have invited a little friend along to help us. This is my friend Anushka. And she and I invented a little game together. I don't know if you can read the words. I hope you can. It's hard for me to tell what you can see. So at the base of Anushka's spine, which is at the back, but we put the sticker here, it's red, and we have the word, I am. Oops! Oh my goodness, sorry about that. Her chakra color flew right off. 
Let's let's rescue your chakra there. That's I am. So maybe I'll write. No, there we are. I am. Okay. Breathe in and breathe out. If you're feeling a bit unbalanced, just think about your root chakra, the color red, and I am. Moving up the body just below the belly button if you can put your hand there this we think that anushka thought her belly button was about here just below that this is the sacral chakra and the color for that is orange so think about all the color food that you like that's orange oh, i happen to bring a clementine tangerine um oranges they're the most obvious i couldn't think of many orange food maybe sweet potatoes think about orange maybe something that's not food that you like that's orange just send put your hand on below your belly button on your sacral chakra breathe in and breathe out and the words for that are i feel i feel so those are all the words that are connected to emotion and creativity. So if you're if you're trying to figure out how you feel about something or you're not sure uh, if you're trying to imagine something you're, you're trying to invent or fix or do, your sacral chakra will help you. That's all about I feel. I feel. Moving up just above your belly button sort of at the end of your sternum if you know where your sternum is if you don't please look it up or ask someone to show you it's kind of this bone here that all your ribs attach to sort of at the bottom there in here that's your solar plexus and solar means sun and plexus means uh, like a network so i always imagine that means like sunburst that's how I remember my solar plexus is a sunburst. Whoosh! That's right here. And the color with that is yellow. So solar plexus, sunburst. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Um, there she, there's um, Anushka's is right here. Yellow, yellow foods. I could think of like, well, I thought of banana, obviously. Um, of course, I brought a banana because I always seem to have a banana in case someone wants to phone me. Um, yellow or lemons would be nice. My glasses are falling off again. Hello, is that the glasses um, fixing shop? I know, they, they're sliding off again. Well, I've tried putting duct tape here, but it's a little bit sticky and ouchy. Okay, thank you. I'll bring them in next week. You just let me know when I can um, come over, okay? Thank you, bye. Okay, yellow, 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 solar plexus, I do. So it's action, this is your action center. This is your um, place where all of your, your intellect is thinking, your personal power is here, your sunburst power. So if you're feeling like you need some extra power and action. Think about your solar plexus. You can put your hand here or just imagine some yellow. I do. That's what the words are associated with that chakra. Then moving up, we have your beautiful hearts. Oh, your beautiful hearts. Anushka's beautiful heart. And unusually, uh, this chakra point is given the color green, which I found super challenging because I wanted to put red and pink and fire there, but green is given to the heart. And then I started to think, okay, new grass and leaves and moss and growth and nourishment and nurturing. Now, okay, I can imagine those things in my heart. So your heart chakra, which is just here up to the left, that's all about I love. Can you see Anushka's heart chakra here, green? And it says, I love. So that's all about, um, well, obviously love and compassion and integration 
and how you build relationships in the world and how you relate to people. That's all about I love and always remember to love yourself. Always remember to love yourself. Be kind to yourself. And if we're kind to ourselves, then we have more power to be kind to other people and all beings. So this is our heart chakra, heart chakra, green, green, green. Mm -mm -mm. I think I have a lot of soft moss in my heart chakra. Green soft moss. Okay, moving up. We're nearly there. Up to the throat chakra. That's just here. Really very important also because this is all about communication. So this is your throat chakra. It's a blue color. I like to imagine it's the b beautiful blue of a winter sky day. You know that intense clear blue? Imagine the blue here. Anushka's is here. And the words for this are I speak. So this chakra is all about expressing yourself communication, patterns. Then I always think about singing because singing has patterns. So it's all about ensuring that you are expressing yourself in the world as you truly hope to. So give your throat chakra some extra power if you're feeling you're not able to say what you need to say. Send it the beautiful blue color of the expansive clear sky or a gigantic free ocean all of those things are here in your th throat chakra and they may help you say what you need to say what just fell off oh no anushka's third eye fell off oh anushka sorry about that let's give you back your third eye oh. see even if your third eye falls off your your third eye chakra pops right off just stick it back on Woo! i've had some of those days this there goes my third eye oh stick it back on and that is what i do when i'm having a confusing day too many thoughts too many things to do you can put your hand here breathe in and breathe out and think about deep 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 indigo blue purple maybe sort of like these I think this is supposed to be a, um, a, um, <laughs> hydrangea. <laughs> you see how well this third eye is working? Mm, okay, third eye. Think of that deep, deep purple color. I've got blueberries and a purple grape sort of mushed together for that color. So think about, I see, this is all about your intuition, your extrasensory perception. So it's where you will understand things without using your other senses. So not why your sight or your hearing or your feeling. This is an intuition, extrasensory perception. You all have that and that's here. This is your third eye. Hmm, okay, last but not least is your crown chakra at the top of your head. Some people say this is um, um, violet. I like to think of it as white. Lots of people also think of it as white, but you choose. It's your body, your chakras. So I think of this as white and this is I know. You see, Anushka has I know. This is your vast knowing and connection to the universe. This is the unseen energy in which we are connected to all in the great mystery of the universe and how we're connected to nature and all beings and each other and we don't necessarily see it but that is your crown chakra sometimes if i'm overwhelmed if it's too crowded or there's too much going on for me i put my hands actually over my crown chakra like this or i imagine i am if i can't do it because people will see and they'll think oh she's extra peculiar today that i'm protecting my crown chakra and there's one 
food that's really super magic that I wanted to show you. Ooh, there we go, Anushka. Can you see the words? There we are. Okay. You get an apple. Excuse me, I'm just going to move all these. This is our little campfire because it's nice to gather with friends around a fire. I'll put these things here. Oops, a thimble tea. Here's an apple. So if you put an apple on its side, so there's the stalk and there's the base. Put it on its side. I've already cut it because I don't have much room on this um, desk. So I cut it with a really sharp knife. So ask a parent to do it for you. And um, where's that other thing? Okay, oh, I've already got it. Okay, it's okay. Chit chatting to myself. Cut the apple on its side. Ask a parent or an adult, someone who's good with knives. You cut it, you cut it. Are you ready? Ready, steady. Look what's inside. Look at that. That to me is like your crown chakra. Inside this apple is a star and the star is connected to the universe. And just like you, you are connected to the universe and maybe you don't feel it. But think of the apple with the universe inside it and you with the universe inside you. And maybe you can imagine that this is a crown on your head. This is your, cr this is your crown chakra crown. You can imagine it. Obviously, it would be a bit challenging to walk around with a half an apple on top of your head. Plus, you know, people would think you're a bit odd. That's okay too. Or just imagine it. So just imagine an apple cut sideways has the universe inside. There, and let's pop that on because Anushka and I, right now, we're, we're dressing up. So we don't mind that we have strange things on our heads. I'm just going to balance. Wow, very talented there Anushka let me get your IC chakra showing so there we are your seven chakras from your root your sacral your solar plexus your heart I'm reading my list up the side here your throat your third eye and your crown and the colors are red orange yellow green blue because purple indigo or white or violet at the top colors from the bottom to the top and you can spend some time breathing in and out, thinking of them either separately or you can imagine that you breathe from the bottom chakra, connect to the universe and then down, back down again from the earth and up and through your chakras, connecting to the universe and and down, back down to the earth as many times as you like without getting dizzy. Do whatever feels comfortable and know that you are connected and you are very special and we're glad that you are our friend. I hope that was helpful, not too complicated. <laughs> From our hearts to your hearts, the evening is coming in and now it's getting dark. The birds are singing. Anushka is happy singing with half an apple on her crown chakra head and we're going to blow out this candle and think of you all. Mm -hmm.